Hello everyone, welcome to Web Coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss solution on this question. The question is, we have to find a corresponding node of a binary tree in the clone of that tree. So what is this actually? This question actually saying is that the question is already given here, but uh, I'll just elaborate that what is actually given here. It is saying that we are provided with a binary tree and the clone of that same binary tree, which means that this binary tree if, if the addresses of this binary tree are something like this 4k 5k a 7k 8 6k and 8k the same copy of this binary tree will be having some different addresses but the values are going to be same right so till now if it is clear to you all that nothing is given but a binary tree and copy of that binary tree is given right now what is this question asking us to do it is giving us a target let's say the target is 6 and now we have to actually do what we have to find that where this target is lying in this uh, original tree and to that original value the corresponding value in the copy of that tree we have to return its address this means that i'll re i'll rephrase what i said where is this six lying in the original tree first thing if this six is lying at if the six is present and it is lying at some address then obviously the this is the copy of the tree then we have to return the address of the six that is present in the copy of the tree so i hope that it was clear to you all that nothing we have to do we have to just find this value and we have to return the corresponding value or corresponding uh, corresponding address in the copy tree right so let's try, uh, discuss the solution for this question what is the solution actually going to be let's say we are provided with two binary trees okay and our target is 6 right now what we can do we'll just have two pointers pointing to this p1 this original uh, original binary tree and second is pointing to this binary tree that is p2 now we will be simultaneously moving or iterating this by uh, this pointers throughout the tree but we have to keep that in mind that both the values or both the p1 and p2 should move in same direction and should should be equal like obviously this is a copy of this tree this tree is the original tree and this is the copy of tree so if i am going to move p1 to left with one set one step then if and similarly if i move p2 to the to its left child with one step it is going to end up at the same value i am talking about the value that is it is going to land at the same value not the same address but at the same value right if this is clear then what we are going to do we are actually going to move this p1 and p2 pointer simultaneously and we are going to find that uh, we are going to see if we are getting the targeted value in this original tree or not and then we are just going to return the address from this copy tree so what actually we are going to do let's say p1 comes here similarly p2 will also be here right now p1 goes to it is not this 4 is not equal to the targeted value therefore it will move forward so now p2 will go where p2 will go to this 3 so p1 will go to this 3 right this is p1 similarly p2 will be also at 3 now at the left of this tree we are getting the target value which means that when p1 is here that time p2 will be also here because we are simultaneously moving both the values right both the pointers so when we found that when when we find the value the target value in the uh, original tree then what we have to do we have to just return the address from the copy tree that is address of pointer 2 from the copy tree so what is actually going to happen it is going to return here it is going to return here it is going to return to the mean answer therefore we don't have to return anything from this p1 tree we have we are just using this original tree to find the value right to find the targeted value so let's do let's let's code this thing so you will get more insight what we actually going to do let's say sorry tree node let's call it as left and we are going to call this function that is we have to go to the left child so what we are going to do p1 dot left and simultaneously we have to move p2 also so it is also going to be moved to its left child and target value is going to remain same now similarly we are going to this do same thing for right 
so here it is going to be ght right and here it is also going to be right and if you don't find any value it is going to return null pointer right now what tell what will be the base cases the base case first base case is easy that if p1 is equal equal to null then we have to return return null value right this is the simple base case now second base case is going to be if p1 is equal equal to targeted value that is t then what we have to return we have to return p2 right we have to return p2 not p1 sorry not p1 now what we have to do what we have to see actually what we are going to do when this p2 or when this this value that is p2 is going to be returned it has to be stored somewhere that is going to be stored at the third left side that is when 3 makes a call to its left side it is going to get the required answer so what we have to check we have to check if left is not equal to null then what we have to do we have to return null pointer oh, sorry return left because it is not empty it is having this uh, it is having some value and that that value is defi definitely going to be our answer value similarly if right is not equal to null sorry null then it is going to return right so with this our code is complete current right now i cannot uh, run this code because we are not having test cases available on our website but this is the correct code uh, you can also uh, do the dry run and you can see it for yourself sorry you can see it for yourself that how this actually code is going to work this is not uh, this is actually going to be very simple we are just moving both the pointers simultaneously when left goes to uh, p1 goes to left p2 is also going to its left and so on and when we hit the targeted value what we are going to return we are going to return the value from the copy node because we have to do what we have to return our value from the copy node right here it is written that uh, where answer must be a reference to node in the clone tree so reference to the node in the clone tree so with this this code is complete and i hope the question was clear to you all so thank you for this video